Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be an energy check-in love reading for my dearest Sagittarius. Sagittarius, we're going to take a look at the person most on your mind or your current situation. And if these messages resonate with you, I am going to ask that you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. So let's go ahead and see what messages come through for my dearest Sagittarius for their highest and greatest good. Clear messages and guidance for my Sagittarius, please, for their highest and greatest good. All right, the overall energy, we have the Three of Cups, beautiful. Now your person is showing up as the Hermit in reverse. All right, so, you know, I keep getting very similar messages in a lot of these readings, this go around, and it's this Mercury retrograde in Virgo energy. Somebody here is gonna be revealing themselves, somebody who maybe ghosted you, or somebody you haven't spoken to in quite some time. Now they're viewing you as the Seven of Swords, so they might feel like you are um, hiding from them or you're avoiding them. What you're not seeing is the tower in reverse, okay? This person maybe has been avoiding you, all right, until they know what they want to say or how they want to approach. And we see the nine of pentacles in reverse. So I get a strong message here not to give too much to this connection. Um, make this person put in the work, Sag. Make this person put in the work. And we see the high priestess. Some of you are dealing with a Pisces or a Cancer, possibly a Virgo here as well. Um, but you definitely need to trust your intuition when it comes to this person and when it comes to this connection. Now, you know, I am getting, it's possible this is a secret admirer. It may not be an ex. With the Three of Cups showing up here, Sag, it could be somebody who's in your community, somebody that you see out and about at the dog park, at the grocery store, your favorite cafe, lunch spot. It could be work. It could be a friend group. Um, but it feels good. The Three of Cups is telling me there's a lighthearted, fun energy here but somebody's crushing on you hard, Sag. So let's see, Three of Cups, why do we have this here? Okay, we have the Six of Cups. This is my crushing on you card. So it could be a reunion. I'm not gonna write that off, but I feel this is a soulmate. This is somebody who you already know, who's already in your energy. You might not know how they're feeling about you. All right, and we see the, wow, double high priestess energy. So you're both quite spiritual. You're both quite intuitive. This is somebody who's, who's, who has some very deep, very secret feelings for you. Now, you may also feel the same way about this person. I might have two people here who are really crushing on each other. But with the Hermit card in reverse, Virgo energy, I do feel this person has a tendency to overthink, overanalyze. They might get stuck in their head a little bit. I feel like they're harsh and judgmental with themselves or they're quite hard on themselves at time, times. But with the Hermit in reverse, this person is definitely going to be revealing their secret feelings for you. And we get the Ten of Swords in reverse. Like I said, some of you, it's someone that wants to heal things, but it could also just be somebody that wants to get something off their chest. It feels like they've been through a tough period. And again, they might just be really freaking out about telling you how they feel, but I kind of get this now or never type energy. So they're coming in with the truth. They're coming in with communication about their true feelings for you. And yeah, this person wants to invest and they want to invest long term with you, Sag. This is somebody who's thinking marriage, commitment, children, or, you know, anything, anything solid and stable. Now with the Seven of Swords, they might be trying to figure you out. It does not have to be a past person. So they might be just trying to figure out everything about you, your likes, your dislikes, that sort of thing. But I do feel like this person, they want to see you. They want to know everything they can about you. You have really, well, I don't know what you've done to this person, Sag, but they are restless to see you. They're restless to talk. They're restless to get close to you, okay? And we see the Wheel of Fortune. They see you as, you know, the best of the best. They see you as their destiny. They love that you're, they, they love that you're successful, Sag. And what I mean by that is, like, they love how you carry yourself. They love the way you take care of your house, your home, your body, your finances. Like, this person feels like you would, you know, you give them status. And I don't mean that in, like, a way that they're using you or, you know, or that they're superficial. But, like, they would be proud to be by your side. That's what I'm getting. All right. We get the tower in reverse clarified by the death card. Scorpio energy. So we have somebody here that may be avoiding you. It is possible too, this person is healing from the loss of a loved one, okay? That might have been something that really rocked their world, that really shook them up. So if this person kind of did, if they did ghost or you haven't heard from them in a while, they really could be healing from something pretty serious. 
Um, but they definitely, they're ready to transform things here. And the strength card, they've been building up their strength and their courage to come towards you. And I, I feel like they're in the right energy. Like they've released whatever this 10 of swords is, hurt or heartbreak or loss. They've released it and they're, they're ready. They're strong. They're feeling like they're ready to come towards you and tell you how they're feeling. The nine of pentacles in reverse is telling you that, you know, telling me that some of my sagis, you're not going to be single for very long. And with the queen of rods energy in reverse though, don't rush into anything. And also there, I feel there's going to be a very sexy, very strong physical connection between you and this person. But I, I am seeing, make sure this person puts in the work because I did get up here. I like when I was getting, they want to get to know you. They want to be close to you. I, I kept, somebody like wants to kiss you really bad. Like it's almost like if you, you know, if you're talking to this person, say it's a colleague or a friend, like when you're having conversation, there may have been like a moment where they like almost kissed you. And you may, you may or may not have felt that. I'm, I'm assuming you would have felt that. But anyway, so I, I feel here too, you know, that you want to be, you just want to make sure that you don't focus on the physical, make sure this person puts in the work. They're asking the right questions. Um, some of my Sagis, you might not be so sure if you want a relationship at this point, you might be enjoying having fun, flirting, dating, um, the eight of pentacles energy in reverse. Yeah. Just wait, watch and wait. And some of you, if this is a past person, you might be a little bit triggered by them coming back around. Um, but you've got a really big decision to make. And I do feel like your ships are coming in. There's potential for something solid and secure here, Sag. This person, I don't know what you've done to them, but they are crushing on you. Hardcore, hardcore crushing on you. Really strong, uh, Leo and Scorpio, Aries energy as well. Uh, Virgo energy. So let's see what else we need to know. Yeah, this person, they have these secret feelings for you. I'm not getting that they're hiding anything from you. Um, although if this is somebody who's newer, they might have a, they might have a child from a previous connection. Maybe they haven't told you about that yet. You know, maybe it hasn't, you know, your conversation hasn't gotten there. This person's feeling quite drained. They are healing from something, but I do feel like they're a little bit drained by not talking to you, waiting to see you, wanting to tell you how they feel. And maybe they weren't able to do that the last time you were together, but I also feel they've got quite a lot of responsibilities, Saj, and dedication. This person, they're a little bit old school is what I'm getting with that tape cassette, um, but they're dedicated. They, they want to put in the work and make sure you make sure you allow this person to put in the work because they may be a little bit more traditional. They may need that, like allow them to sort of take the lead or, you know, make the effort here. Yeah. And like I said, this person, they want to know everything about you. They want to know what you like, what you don't like. My goodness. All right. Let's see. Clear messages and guidance. All right, clear messages and guidance for my Sagittarius, please. I, I'm loving this energy. I really am. I'm loving this energy. The fixed signs, Leo, Scorpio, uh, Taurus, and Aquarius are coming through really strong. Again, it's more of an energy read than a signs read, though. You and this person may mirror each other in a lot of ways. Um, this person has definitely been doing a lot of introspection, but it feels like they're coming out of that, okay? And they, they want to put in the work. It's a, it's a repeating message and I apologize for just hammering away at it, but you know, this person wants to put in the work, let them make them put in the work here, Sag. Yeah. And this can lead to something solid, stable and secure. And for a lot of you, it's somebody that you have not dated yet, right? It's somebody that you may know who may be in your energy crushing on you, but it feels for a lot of you, it's somebody brand new. So for those of you who are like, whew, thank goodness we're not, you know, in another X reading, um, it looks like, you know, this person, it, it could be somebody you don't have a romantic history with, but I do feel like, you know, this person, or at least they certainly know who you are now, for those of you where this does sound like your ex and, and, uh, you know, and it is that that does resonate with you, this person's planning, setting a date to come towards you to talk. Okay. But let's see, we've got, um, getting nowhere. I love this compass energy. You may need to adjust the lens of your life, change your mindset, and then change your lifestyle. You can still turn things around. Yeah. So I, I feel like some of my, like, I feel like it's more your person's energy. They're turning something around. I feel like they've been through a very difficult time. And for some of you, it's really something independent of love relationships. It's like a, it's a, it's a deep loss or trauma here. All right. But it feels like they're doing the work. Pain is fuel. Yep. Here we go. So all that, all that pain, all that suffering, 
all that confusion, use it as fuel and transform your troubles into gold. So those could be messages from my Sagis out there. For those of you who have experienced pain, trauma, loss, um, things are definitely changing. But for a lot of you, it's this person I'm picking up on. All right. And become a source of light. But I think you are a source of light for this person, Sag, to be honest. You're a natural healer and they're showing me, yes, the temperance card, which is your major arcana. Born to bring through new healing methods to whatever areas you choose to work in. So a lot of you, you're working your light, you know, focus on your healing. You might also this, you might heal this person, right? Without even realizing it just by, you know, just by being in a relationship with them, just by being close to them, just by offering them, you know, your, your large hearted, kind hearted energy to them. But I feel like there's potential for a major transformation here in your love life and in this person's and perseverance. Um, you've gotten through survival mode. Now it's time to live and blossom into more. The world, I'm uh, sorry, the worst is behind you. Yeah, so I feel there are really good things coming to my Sagis out there. I love you so much. If these messages resonate, don't forget to hit that like button, share, subscribe. Check out the description box for ways you can get a private reading or if you like the cards I'm using or if you want to follow me on TikTok and Instagram. Love and light. Take care.